So we say that the limit of f of x when x approaches a is infinity if for every positive m uh, <coughs> there is a delta. So there is positive delta such that and now come the uh, the if statement if what happens is with delta x minus a is less than delta uh, but x minus a is zero so we are back to the uh, treatment of delta is in the uh, original definition as we had it here if you recall uh, we started said if x minus a is positive but less than delta then f of x minus l is less than uh, epsilon here we're going to vary that we're going to say that if uh, if we can find delta such that <coughs> such that f of x is greater than m then we have limited infinity okay so if this happens then the limit goes to infinity and likewise we can expect to have limit at negative infinity so that will be case two. and I'll sketch the two situations in a minute after writing it on uh, the limit when x approaches a of f of x is negative infinity say that if for every and here instead of m positive we're going to pick up n negative so for every v negative value n again n can be extremely negative negative million negative billion uh, we are free to choose uh, a number that is close enough in our mind to negative infinity if for that we can find a suitable delta then the limit goes to negative infinity so here we're going to write there is a positive delta such that and here we go if uh, zero is less than the absolute value of x minus a which is less than delta then so if we have this delta then f of x will be less than n no matter how negative is n and a couple of sketches to demonstrate this so let me do well I don't think I can do side by side so I'll do the first one and then I'll do the second one on the other side so here's a uh, let's pick up x equal a right here So this is a, and then the function will shoot to infinity, like so. So typically, this function probably going to be one over x minus a squared, okay? And a can be a number, let's say four or five. If you do one over the quantity x minus five squared, it's going to look like that. And now, how we set it up? We're going to say that we want to the function to be greater than m, and we draw randomly. I'm picking up this value to be m. Okay. So this horizontal line going to intersect the x-axis. So this is y equal m, right there. And I want f of x to be greater than that. To accomplish this, I'm going to drop down. And the intersection with the x-axis will be either this point will be a plus delta, and this point will be a minus delta. Okay? So the x minus a is less than delta is this sleeve right there. Every point right there will be uh, x minus a less than delta but greater than zero. 
it will be sitting inside this sleeve. So in order to, if we pick up a value of delta that is right there, then we guarantee that f of x will be greater than m. Okay, and we can make m as high as we want. Likewise, for the second part, uh, it's the mirror image pointing downward. Again, x positive is over there, but we are going to look down. So, this is our asymptote. Again, a is right there, and we have one side approaching negative infinity, like so, the other side from here. So, where is n? n will be negative this time, and we're going to set it up to be right here. So this is a, this is the line y equal m, and the intersection with the x-axis will give me, again, this will be a plus delta. This will be a minus delta. And every point right there will have x value such that uh, x minus a is less than delta and positive. So if we pick up x value inside the sleeve, it's guaranteed that f of x will be less than n. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is write that this is y equal f of x, okay? And this is y equal f of x. So this is the visualization of uh, of this definition of the uh, of the uh, limit at infinity.